and welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Nottingham Forest up against Newcastle United. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Enjoy the game. And the match is underway. So they starting 11 for Newcastle United. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Matt Target plays with Kieran Trippier as fullbacks. And the striker is Callum Wilson. But he's got past his man. And a decent save. Full credit. Maguire. Godfrey. Target with it. Well, for Newcastle United, not the best of experiences last time out when they lost against Manchester United. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, to be honest, they were outplayed in every department and fully deserved to lose heavily. Today, they need to play with more fluency, and if they match that with energy, I believe they get at least a draw out of this one. Well, not giving him any breathing room. be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game but you could make a strong case for this man I think Stuart what are you expecting to see from him well Derek you know he's got great creativity when he's on the ball but when he gets a set play in and around the box he's got great technique he can hit the back of the ball he can bend it over the top of the wall and usually he makes the goalkeeper work well a classic example of how to intercept Bian Kone. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw in. Well read to put an end to that attack. Aboniyi. Danilo Pereira. Difficult to stop him. Dangerous ball. Threat over for now, it seems. What a good... Is it going to be? Just when we thought the goal would arrive, the grim reality hitting off target. Well, he never looked in full control, did he? That's a poor finish. Matt Target. 
The ball with James Ward-Prowse. Can he play it in? Newcastle will get the throw in. Curtis Jones. Oh, a vital interception. Just like to send a special message to Tony Rankin today. Happy Call birthday, back. Tony. Everybody loves you and is thinking about you. Well read to win possession back. Matt Target. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Target. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Bruno Guimaraes. Cafu with it. Still passing it around with authority. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Rashford. Rashford unable to hold it. Abonigi, Julian Bianconi, Freuler in possession. Not a bad pass it was. Well, as you can see, Newcastle have had most of the ball, but with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. They need to play with more urgency to win this one. Well, let's see if they can win the ball back and do something with it. Well, couldn't keep it. Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Well, the referee had to stop play, and he's doing that now so the player can receive treatment. Not a drop ball after the injury situation. Rashford. He's using his strength to good effect. Target. Will he play it in? And caught with ease, no real threat from the cross. Well, the stoppage time situation, one minute here. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Yes, there's certainly room for improvement. He struggled to have any real impact on the game. He hasn't gotten the ball enough, and when he has, he's given it away cheaply. But I'm sure we'll see a marked improvement in the second half. Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it... Just when we thought the goal would arrive, the grim reality hitting off target. Well, he never looked in full...
So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. He's beaten his man. Could be. And a decent save. Full credit. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Now a short corner here. Great block. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, his skill level is so high, you're absolutely right. That's a great effort on the volley. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Nottingham Forest taking on Brighton. Oh, a lovely ball. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Corner kick played in. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Trippier. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Well, very effective play in possession. Wilson. That's the clearance that was needed. He could pick out a teammate. Just needs to get it out of there. Danger averted for now. Marcus Rashford in position and snuffing out the danger. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Newcastle United facing Fulham. Good technique displayed. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Now, high quality defending. Jacob Murphy. Curtis Jones. Promising looking ball. Oh, keeper dealt with it. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Substitution for Newcastle United. Coming off the pitch, number nine, Callum Wilson, to be replaced by number 10, Patrick Bamford. Let's see about the delivery. Still not clear. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Godfrey. And Rashford. Oh, a lovely incisive pass. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Call back. Ings. Real chance. Well, negligent in front of goal. No two ways about that. Oh, that's an interesting pass. But it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. 
And support available. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Trippier. Just 15 minutes remaining. Ings. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Trippier. Murphy. And he read it well, intercepting it. And the Magpies moving the ball forward with purpose. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. Well, he's had his name taken by the referee. Well, he knew he was going to get booked. It's a poor tackle, really. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Ten minutes left for play. Call back. Aboniyi. Danilo Pereira. On the offensive, is there to be late excitement? It's got to be! And somehow, the score sheet remains blank. Well, I think that sums up why we haven't seen any goals in this game. It's not a good finish, is it? And they're making a change. Trippier. Shelby. Murphy. And Rashford. Alert defending. Remo Freuler. Danny Ings now. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Will he play it in? Chance made. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop, and then the reaction. Murphy. Good tackle. Ings. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. Not a great challenge. Free kick here. And time for the change now. Into the box it goes. Well, the keeper was always likely to do his job under no pressure. Ings. Can they nudge in front late on here? Chances on. Huge piece of goalkeeping to keep the game level. Well, what a time to make a save like that. It's a brilliant effort. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And that will be all for this game anyway. No goals to report. Defences on top. And Stuart, as ever, interested to get your take. Well, Derek, I think it was a good tactical battle. There was a lot of endeavour, some good defending, but not enough attacking quality. And that's why we didn't get any goals. Well, truth be told, his influence on this game has been very limited. What have you made of his performance, Stuart? Well, he was very quiet today. He just couldn't get involved in the attack in third. But let's give credit to the opposition. They marked him really well today. Well, a good place to win it back. And let's see what it... 
just when we thought the goal would arrive, the grim reality hitting off target. Well, he never looked in full. Could be. And a decent save for credit. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, his skill level is so high, you're absolutely... Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. dealt with it so deciding to make a personnel change at this jump on the offensive is there to be late excitement and somehow the score sheet remains blank well I think that sums up why we haven't seen any goals in this game it's... can they nudge in front late on here Huge piece of goalkeeping to keep the game level. Well, what a time to make a save like that. It's a brilliant effort. Just a quick couple of questions. No further questions, thanks so much. Hello and welcome to one of the most atmospheric venues in the game of football, St James's Park. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Newcastle United up against Fulham. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully, we're not disappointed. And the contest begins. So they starting 11 for Newcastle United. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Kieran Trippier starts with Matt Target in the fullback positions. And the striker is Callum Wilson. Well, straight out of play by the goalkeeper. And it'll be a throw in. 
And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Bernd Leno is the goalkeeper. Shane Duffy plays with Issa Jop in central defence. And leading the attack today is Vinicius Jr. Well read to put an end to that attack. But as we glance at the table, it really is shaping up to be a captivating season, highly competitive, especially at the summit. Well, what a great title race this looks like, Ben. Yes, there's a long way to go, but it's difficult to split these teams at the moment. Let's hope I'm right. Well, spot on with that challenge. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Throw in then for Newcastle. Godfrey. Matt Target. Marcus Rashford. Well, they have the ball once more. Well, for Newcastle United, parity prevailed in the last game. A draw against Nottingham Forest. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, I think they'll be a little bit disappointed with that result. Today, they just need to play with a bit more freedom. And if they can do that, they'll win this one. Oh, that's a fine cross. The chance is on. Just missing narrowly on the volley. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's unfortunate. Well, just hearing a goal has gone in in the Arsenal game. Let's hear all about it from Alex. Yeah, it's a goal for Arsenal. It's now 1-0 with 17 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. To jump in front. Oh, disappointing. Just when it looked like a surefire opener. Well, that should have been the opener, Derek. I'm not sure how he's missed that. Trippier. Jacob Murphy. Did well to win the ball back. Vinicius. Robinson. Throw in for Fulham. space to cross it oh surely superb save well he should score of course but that's a brilliant save but he's gone short with it well really it had to be further away from the keeper Matt Target and Rashford Target with it looking for that final pass looking for the goal that would put them ahead on his own with only the keeper to beat but he's missed it Stuart well he went for power but he didn't make the perfect connection that's why he's missed the target there But he could really get at the opposition. Rashford in the middle. Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. Vinicius. 
now they are to intercept. Curtis Jones. The Magpies pushing forward with options available. The inside route looks promising. Well cleared away. Chalaba. Now with James. Dan James. Terrific block. Now oh, that pass easy on the eye. Babu. Firing it in. And saved by the keeper. And played in by William. And the danger cleared. Well, the stats don't lie. It's been very tense and an even battle so far, but neither side has played with enough quality to pose a real threat going forward. And that needs to change. Yes, a very accurate assessment. Can they open things up here? Real chance. Can they slot at home? Oh, chance taken. There is opportunism for you. But a disappointed goalkeeper. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. Well, the pressure has certainly been applied. Let's find out if Newcastle are feeling it. This could be interesting. And Alex is going to tell us about a goal that's been scored at Villa Park. It's a goal for Villa. It's now 1-0 with under five minutes left to play till half-time. Many thanks, Alex. He succeeds in clearing it. And a chance to whip it in here. Rashford, superb block. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Vinicius. Robinson. And played in. Well, offside anyway, albeit a tight one. Here it is now, a substitution. Well, we're at the halfway mark here at St. James's Park. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And so the match is underway. Oh, well, that's a fine cross. The chance is on just missing narrowly on the volley well it's a fantastic effort difficult technique but he caught it so well he's unfortunate oh disappointing just when it looked like a surefire opener well that should have been the opener Derek I'm not sure how he's been and space to cross it oh surely with only the keeper to beat but he's missed it Stuart well he went for power Babu firing it in 
And saved by the keeper. Real chance. Can they slot it home? Oh, chance taken. There is opportunism for you. But a disappointed goalkeeper. So into the second half. Can Newcastle battle back after that first 45? Decent position. Must be. Well, the keeper had to concentrate. No sensible refereeing, you might say. Now he goes back and hands out the yellow card, Stuart. Yeah, that's very good. He let the play continue and then came back for the earlier challenge. Who can he pick out? Well, as a defender, that will suit you down to the ground. Robinson. And a quick reminder, we'll have action from the fourth round of the Carabao Cup here on EA TV. It's Newcastle United taking on Liverpool. Well, we're down to the last 16 now, so plenty to play for in that game in what will be a tough encounter. And that's a straightforward stop. Palinha. And take it away. Well, Fulham haven't been able to dominate possession, as those stats tell us. But they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Rashford Target and crossed in there Well, no wonder he's got a smirk on his face Good idea, but the execution lacking a little and Time for the change now Substitution for Newcastle United Coming off the pitch Number 16, Curtis Jones To be replaced by Number 11, Matt Ritchie. It's a clever run here from Rashford. Target. Now with Ward Prowse. Stop. Well, still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time if they keep piling on the pressure like this. Yes, end to end stuff, but now they're forced to track back. Opportunity! Ball is loose! William. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. And someone has found the net in the Arsenal match. Let's hear all about it from Alex. It's a goal for Arsenal. It was a low-driven cross into a crowded area, but he was there from close range to finish that move off. They're back in this now with 63 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. And players waiting in the centre. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's Fulham taking on Brighton. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that stadium. And two very good teams. Palinha. Newcastle regaining possession here. Well, if Newcastle score now, these fans will go absolutely wild. What a finish we've got here. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. 
And with play stop, they will make the change now. Substitution for Newcastle United. Coming off the pitch, number 23, Jacob Murphy. To be replaced by number 20, Chris Wood. Who can they pick out? It hasn't come to very much. Maguire. Matt Ritchie. Bruno Guimaraes. And a little too close to the keeper in the end. Couldn't keep it. Palinha, Vinicius. Now options are plenty. How can they create something? Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out the danger. Well, what a good piece of goalkeeping that was. But the equaliser can't be long in coming, surely. But after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Time for a change then. Wilson, but a crucial intervention inside the box. Ten minutes left for play. Well, I think the fans are doing everything they can to get their team back into this. But can they find that moment of inspiration and get an equaliser? Well, nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? On the attack in the closing phase. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. And a Fulham throw-in coming up here. Oh, they've lost it. Well, I believe changing circumstances in the Villa game. And Alex Scott has the details. Yep, third goal for Aston Villa. They're ahead by three now with 87 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. They all know their roles as they apply the pressure. Palinha. William. And read the danger magnificently. Well, if he gets this wrong, a penalty and a sending off. But he was spot on with his challenge. Matt Ritchie. Now with Rashford. Gorgeous pass from Rashford. And a fine stop. Well, the corner it is, and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game. Trying to deliver it accurately. And the danger's still on. Godfrey. So the final whistle and no cause for celebration in the Magpies camp. What did you make of how it went? Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is they bounce back now and they can't afford a repeat performance. And the game begins. Oh, that's a fine cross. The chance is on. Just missing narrowly on the volley. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's on. Oh, 
disappointing just when it looked like a surefire opener. Well, that should have been the opener, Derek. I'm not sure how he's... And space to cross it. Oh, surely! <laughs> On his own, with only the keeper to beat, but he's missed it, Stuart. Well, he went for power. Babu. Firing it in. And saved by the keeper. Real chance. Can they slot it home? Oh, chance taken. There is opportunism for you. But a disappointed goalkeeper. Target. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Gorgeous pass from Rashford. And a fine stop. Well, a corner it is, and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game. Have you got time for just a few questions? Thanks for speaking to us.